Well, enjoy this warm weather if you like it because it's going to be turning cold here within the next 24 to 36 hours. Low temperatures today, unseasonably warm as that temperatures have been throughout the day. Normally we're about 51 to 52, so you can tell we're about 20 degrees above the average on the low temperatures. And the highs this afternoon, normally about 74 to 75, and we were somewhere in the range of about 10 degrees above, especially in deep east Texas on those high temperatures during the afternoon. Forecast low temperatures temperatures for Sunday morning. Now you'll notice a change here. Uh, deep East Texas should see temperatures in the 60s in the morning and move north of I-20 and the temperatures are going to be down into the 50s as the cold air starts to filter into the northwestern portions of the area in our northwestern counties there starting Sunday morning. Afternoon high temperatures you can see the cold air pushing a little further southward down to about Interstate 20 and uh, over the northwestern portions of the area. High temperatures Sunday afternoon expect to be in the 50s there, while deep east Texas still gets into the 80s. So it's going to be a slow moving cold air mass as it starts to build across the area. But once it gets in place, it's going to stick around for a while. We do have a stationary front across east Texas and behind that front, we're seeing some showers, occasionally a little bit of thunder there. And we expect that front to get another push from some deeper cold air over the northwestern portions of the area. And that's what's going to drive it through. This is uh, for tonight and as we push on into to Sunday at noontime. That front is again across East Texas with 80s down to the south of it, but to the north, 50s, even a few 40s there in the noon hour in some of our northwestern counties. Sunday afternoon at 6 o'clock, the colder air is in place pretty much across all of our East Texas area, so we'll see temperatures in the 40s there over the area north of Interstate 20, along with some rather cold showers moving through, and to the south, our temperatures in the 50s for most of that area. We get some post frontal rain. In other words, the rain falling well after the front has moved on through, though that's going to be a cold rain for us on Monday. Temperatures in the 40s for most of the area and that rain falling. And again, by the time uh, Tuesday gets here and the rain starts to end, we could receive in excess of an inch of rainfall. Monday, we push and see that cold front push on through the area and uh, take the clouds with it. And we'll see our temperatures Wednesday afternoon in the 40s, getting us ready to dry out enough that we could see some frost forming after midnight Wednesday night into Thursday and the morning hours there until the sun comes up and starts to warm things up. We could have a pretty widespread frost across the East Texas area. And again, that's going to be a uh, week to two weeks above or, or sooner than what we expect to see on the frost here in East Texas. Low temperature overnight tonight, about 59 degrees. Scattered showers will continue and begin to increase. And for Sunday afternoon, temperature about 69, but temperatures will be falling through the afternoon, so that 69 not going to be reached uh, late in the afternoon. It'll be reached earlier in the day as those temperatures will be falling after that. Over the next seven days, wind chill around 32 at sunrise there Tuesday morning, about 28 on Wednesday morning, and then the scattered morning frost as things dry out enough to let that frost form on Thursday. But we'll have sunny skies, and we do start to warm up as we get into the weekend. And for Deep East Texas, you also have a chance for some pretty widespread frost there Thursday morning after the rain ends for you there on Monday and your temperatures start to climb again by the weekend as well. Tori?